I am Stacey Static, and you know it's Friday. So you know it's a funny Friday. You already know this, so you know we're about to get right to it. But welcome to the show, my guest, Tony Roberts. You've seen him on, I didn't know you were on Uncle Buck. Oh, yeah. I didn't yeah, know you Yeah, me and my caps, the... man. I was yeah. his best friend in there. We, matter of fact, when the season opened up, when the, when the whole season opened up, the very first person was talking was me. I opened up the whole season. Wow, you were opening crazy. up the season. Yeah, that's crazy, that right? That is crazy. I enjoyed Tony that is, show. I yeah. thought that they let, it should have been a cable show. It's, you know what? Yeah, but this is, this is a crazy story behind that. That's why I got canceled after seven episodes. <laughs> It's, it's crazy. Why? Wow. Uh, Why did it get canceled? Will Packer, you know what? They gave Will Packer the rights because John Candy's, that's his legacy. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So about six other producers asked for the rights for that. They told him no. White producers, mostly white. Right. Will Packer was the hot thing. Anything he touches, yeah, gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They asked him, he sent his assistant to ask them to call him about that. And they just called him right away and said, it's yours. They wow. gave him the rights. Wow. But they didn't know he's going to make it black like that. Oh, they didn't? No. They, he made it straight black, he all made, black. He made Uncle Buck, Uncle Buck. Well, like. And then he went and got Mike Epps, which is, was Mike Epps. Mike Epps is Mike Epps. But the networks were scared of Mike Epps. Yeah, it should have been was scared cable. of, you know, they had got Wayne Brady or something like that. Yeah. Or <laughs> Marlon Wayne, it was still, it was still <laughs> be up. Tell and, it. and then uh, John Kennedy's family was having a fit because it was all black. Oh. And then they was all in the networks, but and then all blah blah blah, and everybody was like, was. "We got to shoot a couple more episodes, and we got to get rid of this." And that's why that's why they. I was didn't wondering last. what happened because I was just like, yeah. I just thought that it just didn't fit well on television. I thought it should have been a, a cable show so they could really let the reins off. Right. Of. Yeah. But now I see that they should have. And I think I think I think the family like, shouldn't have been so colored. I think like what I was gonna say. I think the family shouldn't have been so rich. To oh. me, I think they should have been. Just you know, middle Moderately, class. Yeah, yeah, because why would they need an Uncle Buck if they were wealthy? They could have hired a. Yeah, they have a nanny. Yeah. Okay, this is the craziest story behind this. Okay. This is a true story. I love it. I went to audition at the Cattle Call for Uncle Buck. Everybody was auditioning. Mm -hmm. I, that's why I met Will Packer in the room. Mm -hmm. I did the audition. Bam! They called back. Uncle uh, uh, Will Packer called my agent. Said they want Tony to do it. We want him to do it. He got it. Mm -hmm. I, I got the part for Uncle Buck. Wow. So they said, but we need somebody that we know, the network knows. Uh, so they went, they took five, they said we got five people to try out. Who was it? It was Mike Epps. It was like four other people, but they didn't tell me who they were. They said we got five people. Uh, four, three of them couldn't, couldn't foot it. They didn't act like they wanted it to. Two, another person wasn't available. And then... They said they came back and said we got one more. We got Mike Epps to see if he's available. They said if he start doing the Richard Pryor thing, he's not gonna be available. Then we're gonna just surround you with a lot of celebrities and make you Uncle Buck. Mm. He said he said they came back and said well, he's available. He's gonna do it. So I'm gonna write you in anyway as his best friend. Huh? That's how I got the part. Wow. And that's I need him audition for that part. But they wrote you. Yeah. Wrote you so that's part. how that's how I got on the now but I'm on the. But you were supposed to be Uncle Buck. Right. Did you feel a way? Do you think we could have been successful? I would have took the to a Martin <laughs> Lawrence <laughs> level. Oh. I would have. I got the energy. I got yeah, different got energy physical, in the mic. Yeah, the physical comedy. I got the thing. delivery. I got the you know. So after that, uh, we did the me and John Lovers and Bill Bellamy did the the thing. Um, Mr. Box Office. Mr. Box Office. Mm -hmm. Did like forty episodes of that. After that, I said, I like this. Got the Uncle Buck thing. After that, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to write my own. So I wrote two sitcoms, wrote my pilots out. I got wrote two movies, mm -hmm. and I wrote three TV shows, and I'm shopping them now. I'm doing my own thing. Yeah. I got to do my own thing. You dude. know what? Uh, congratulations to you, because that's why I, I started a podcast, because I was like, I'm going to do my own thing. I'm got to. Make my own thing. Right. Why am I going to go work at a lot of people living in thing? L.A. just living, just waiting, and, and yeah. just keep waiting, and doors keep slamming on them doors. <laughs> And that's no, I'm gonna do my own thing. I got some hot stuff coming out, and it's gonna, you know, I got another, I got a, my fourth one hour special. I'm gonna do it like nobody else did it before. Okay. I'm gonna do it. Um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna. Don't I'm gonna tell us. I ain't gonna tell you right now. Okay. Because I don't want anybody right. to go I'm and like, do it before that, me. I, that I don't want Because there's a bunch of people listening. Because right. Stacey Static is the thing. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't no regular <laughs> podcast. No, this is no, Stacey Static. Stacey Static. And we're live, too, so. I got an aunt in prison. She know you. Oh, no. <laughs> That's how, that's how, no, I'm just playing. <laughs> she would. No, you know who used to listen to me when I was on the radio? Uh, mm. Project Pat. He's oh, really? Like, I used to listen to you when I was locked up. I was like, damn, that's what's up. Are you serious? Yeah, because he was locked up in Missouri and he could wow. he could pick me up. He was like, man, I used to listen to you. That's what's up. I was like, damn, that, that is what's be. up. 
<laughs> that might be. I opened up for him one time. Really? Yeah. 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 He's from Missouri? Mm -mm. No, I don't know why he got locked up. Oh, okay. <laughs> you opened up a project back? Yeah. I never met him. He's a rapper here, uh, from here named Tef Poe. Oh, yeah. And he, uh, he had a show, brought Project Pat to headline it. And it you was, did comedy. You I did, did the thing. I, I was like literally like the first person. <laughs> and they was not there for comedy at right. all. Right. Dude. <laughs> no. And, I've been uh, there. And right. I was like, oh. <laughs> This is not the kind, this is not, and I was relatively, I wasn't new. It was maybe my, like, well, I was new. It was you was like, new as hell. Yeah, you still year. new to me. Still, still new. Right. But, like, I I felt like I was, like, I was going to do good on the show. I was, I was. Dude, they could have got the usher to do that. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I knew what it was the same way. Because I was trying to do material, and I was like, oh. I don't even know, know why you did that. You should just stood why. up there and start talking about talking shit. That's yeah, one of them. That's, what that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. How do y'all feel about the comedians that just wing it, that don't go up there with material? Because I've heard people like, I don't write no jokes. I'll just get up there. No, them, them the ones that, comments that do that, fans know it. Mm. They yeah. know it. And if you really, really good, like Robin Williams could do that. Mm. He used to could do that. Um. It's like real quick comments. I've done it a few times, but not no whole 40 minutes. Right. Yeah. No, I might go off left field for like 10, 15 minutes and go back and yeah. don't remember none of that. Right. Yeah. But nah, nah. Carlos so, Miller does it. Yeah, but he's not expected to, he's not, a head, he's not headlining. He's yeah. about to headline. Yeah, he should. Yeah, he's about to headline. But he got jokes. So. I worked he with him. He does have jokes. And we just did, um, every year I do the, um, the Marcus Cousins show. Okay. I host it every year. Yeah. So this year they, they we just taped one in uh, Bay Area because every team he go to, I go with him. You know, we do the shows. Wow. Okay. So we did it in the Bay Area, and uh, the whole all the Warriors was there and everything. Marcus was on that show. I mean, uh, Carlos was on that show. Yeah. And so and they had Mike Epps hosted this year when he taped it, but he had a good set. He was he was very like he's he's a likable dude though. Yeah. I mean, when he first started, he open open for me in uh, Seattle, and uh, he was so nervous. Really? Yeah. I was like, dude, you got to wake up. What you mean? What you... No, he said, I'm going out there. What you... Quit smoking weed. <laughs> no. No, sometimes, I mean, you need a little weed to get yeah, up there. Yeah, I know comments got to smoke. They got to smoke or they not yeah. comfortable. I remember when D.L. Hughley used to just drink. Oh, no. Yeah. Copious amounts of liquor. Yeah. On stage. Yeah. I think he went back to drinking. No, he, he drink went... now. Yeah, because he because he had stopped drinking for a while and I saw him and I, I was like, he ain't as funny as he, he drink before be. the show, between the show and the, and during the next show. Yeah, during yeah. the next show. During yeah. the, like the last set. Yeah, and like like uh, Eddie drink. Griffin. Eddie Griffin would drink a lot of wine, a lot really? of champagne and wine and get ripped and start using Jesus and fuck in the same <laughs> sentence. <laughs> 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 and come on. Jesus was that <laughs> I think I've ever seen him live. Oh, no, yeah. He just goes on and on and turn the 50 <laughs> minutes set into an hour, almost two hours. Then he light up a cigarette in the sh in the show. Oh. And then put the cigarette out on the stage. He wants to smoke. He do all kind of oh, crazy that's stuff. Chappelle does that, smoking. Yeah. I'd be like, what is this chain smoking habit y'all have? Do you have any crazy habits? You look like you work out a lot. No, I, I work out. Yeah. I just try to keep fit. My wife is a gym rat. Oh, well, so yeah, keep up with her. Like, yeah, you got to. Yeah, man. The last thing you want is for that, that for moment to happen and you be like, nah, hey, I know, hey. right? Yeah. My wife's like 13 years younger than me. Oh, yeah, you got so to. So she's up. like, I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got to wake up for it. It took me three days to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> right, you be like, just let me get one leg. I ain't got time. Me. I'm 50. I ain't got time to be getting up and springing out. Like, you trying to pull something? Just wait. She going to slow down. She goes, she got to slow down. She going to slow down now. Dude, I did this joke about it. you know you're getting old when you when you make a love to your wife and she go, you you doing okay? What? <laughs> what about you? Do you? <laughs> Don't worry about me. Don't worry about what I got going my on. My nose running, my eyes watering. That's how I get down. <laughs> so what? I'm shaking. I'm, I'm in love. Right? Hell no. <laughs> I'm. I'm <laughs> Tony Roberts, Cameron Keys, they are yes. headlining. They doing their thing at Helium Comedy Club this It's going to be a fire yeah. show, people, five shows. We're getting ready to do it, man. I was here last year. I loved it, man. But when I do it, like I was telling Cameron, I visit ballparks. I'm in the baseball. Oh, are you? So I was just watching the Cardinals last week in Cincinnati. Oh, okay. So, Have you, you've been to our ballpark, though. Oh, I've been there four or five times okay, of over the years. Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. So I think I'm going to go Sunday. I'm going to this, the game Sunday before the show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. That's a good time. So you're not married? You're no, pretty. You, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. You my kind of pretty. Oh, it's, I'm your kind of pretty. Yeah, and I'm I got a I got you a got tight a window. Let you me have tell you. a oh do you? You're, you're one window. of those people you have a tight window. I've seen of. girls with handsome shoulders <laughs> or handsome jaws, but pretty eyes. I don't know. <laughs> I need to see birth certificate, baby pictures. <laughs> 
<laughs> science is well, I'm, does I'm glad miracles that I, now. I meet your standards, Tony. I appreciate you, that. You remind me of a, like a God, Layla care. Hathaway and okay. uh, Layla Hathaway and Jill Scott had a kid. Okay, all right, I'll take it. She's got that. this artist yeah. thing. Yeah. Those little, you know, natural and your eyes. Things. I loan you a hundred dollars. I won't expect it back. Okay. You got the eyes. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna use them. Let yeah. them use. Cameron, don't stare at the eyes. You're too young. Don't stare at them eyes. Over there. <laughs> he like. You gonna drop out of school? And come back. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, I need education. I need Stacy Static. <laughs> See, no more Georgia State. <laughs> <laughs> no more Georgia State. Yeah. How is school? It's 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 school. How is Atlanta? It's good. You like Atlanta? Yeah, I like it. Um, what do you do there for fun? Atlanta's comedy. That's all. That's I really how you do? do. I don't really. I've been trying. To How's your school going though? School's going pretty. Stay I'm on that campus, go. man. Because yeah. Atlanta is poison. It. Atlanta is the new L.A. and it's it's, it's a the lot black of black Hollywood. It's a yeah. black Hollywood. There's a yeah. lot of crazy stuff going on in Atlanta, dude. I've been going there for years. Yeah. It's, it's, Did it change? The worst airport ever. Oh my God. Let me tell you something. I took my brother law to the airport. I said, I'll give you five dollars. You show me every every white employee in this airport, I'll give you five dollars. He won five dollars in two hours. <laughs> in two he couldn't hours. find not one black one white employee. Are you and serious? The, and the bit the customer service ugly. Why oh you my giving us God. a bad name? Why are you talking about us? Why are you talking about us? Why you act like black you know what? airport employees? They, they should are park bad. planes at the dollar store because that's. What <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Because it's one big dollar store. They don't care, man. The customer service is bad. Yeah. What? <laughs> you gotta take the train to, to your gate. I know it's horrible. I hate I, that I've train. only flown it. I gotta fly there in uh, September. I'm going there okay. for five days. Wow. Because it really? was cheapest. It was cheapest. I'm I'm going for one music fest, but I'm like staying. And I got friends oh, with beautiful okay. homes. Dude, me and my wife was at this little place getting a burger, or some hot dog, or something, and then the 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 dude. Huge dude was like Mike Magic Johnson's son type guy. Oh, huge. <laughs> with type the, guy. Yeah, with the yeah. yeah, yeah. We had a fade on one side and all the hair on this side over yeah. his eye. And he was much he, bigger than you. Yeah, and he was like, "What the?" But he was talking to my wife. My wife's fashionable. And got the, oh, girl, what, how'd you do this? Or what you girl? And she telling about the oils or something about her. She, I don't know what it was, but I'm next. I'm like, "Well, get my order first, and then talk to her, dude." Can I order? He said, uh, suck this teeth and, and give me the finger uh, and everything. They're like the snaps. Yeah. I said, punk, take my order. Oh, oh. that's how plan. you that man. Well, you know you can't say that word. Though. I know, but I'm saying <laughs> he got mad. I got mad and he just stared at me and I gave him the stare. Like, you know, I'm not even racist or sexist or, you know, yeah. I'm not bashing, homophobic. None of the phobic. I'm, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> So you go fashion sense and Miss <laughs> Claire on with my wife if you want right. to, but I want I want some food. You better let them know then. You better tell them. You it, it's ridiculous <laughs> down there, dude. Yeah. Have you run into that? Um, That's the first time I saw like you a say man um with a you have. If you you're trying to huh? fix it, <laughs> cause he know he got to be friendly. Yeah, it's just I don't know. I, huh? As far as as far as uh <laughs> what I do, you was asking about what I do like. Fun yeah, I don't really. You I just mean, go to the how many comedy like, clubs they got down there? Oh, Punchline, oh, three. School, yeah, they got Uptown. So I always should do, I, um, should I check out comedy when I go I to Atlanta? I do the comedy yeah. theater when I'm there. Yeah. Comedy yeah. theater. Every time somebody try to book me for the other club, yeah. the other guy outbid them. Oh, Gary. Gary outbid. Yes. He been I've been knowing him for twenty years. He outbid him. Tony, no, how much they offer you? I give you two thousand more. Well, that me. comedy wow. club game is really treacherous. It's, it's bad. They're like it's like like the drug game. It's like you you're my territory. You right, right. My people. So is it black on comedy clubs in Atlanta? Yeah. Uh, oh, it, it, it's but Gary White, but he got a black comedy club. Yeah. He don't even book white people. Uh, that's crazy. No. White people on the walls in the in the showroom though, like mm -hmm. yeah, comics. But, but all the comics that perform there are black. For the, yeah. yeah, yeah. See and see, other black comedy club owners get really mad at people like that because they just like they get mad yeah. at the comics too. Yeah. Because they like, why are they like? They do that. They got the new comedy club down Oak. there downtown. I haven't been there. They've been calling me. Yeah, Oak is nice. Oak is it a comedy club or a club? So much of it's it's oh, more man. built like a club than the, than a yeah, comedy club. I think I know the owner. Uh, balling. No, it's a couple of owners, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's like yeah, it's like three, I think. I think one of them. But is one of them Lewis. used to be at the comedy club, the uh, uptown when it was down yeah. by Georgia yeah, Tech. Baller, I think. 
by Georgia University. Now that was the, the yeah, it was a strip on, club right, in the same parking yeah, lot. It was, it was hepatitis and ha and humor. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> it was, <laughs> it's a strip club in like literally right across the parking lot. It was called Stilettos. Stilettos. That's the first strip club I went to. Was it? Yeah. Oh, how was the strip club game down there? You've been to the strip club here. You get a you yeah. get a penicillin shot soon you walk in there. They need to you. and a I tetanus go, shot. I just go to the strip club to talk to them. You know. What do you mean? Talk, talk to the strippers. Well, talk, talk, right. <laughs> talk, talk to the strippers. What are you trying to offer them therapy? No, he's trying to get them out of there. He's a Martin Luther King to strip clubs. You don't have to do this. Okay. He's a Martin Luther King to strip clubs. Right. What options you going to give them, no, Cameron? What can you they pay their bills, boo. Wait a minute. No, no, Thank you, Stacey. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Let me talk some sense to this young man right here. You better leave Tell the Gandhi alone. Jenkins. Man, <laughs> what you call that? Gandhi <laughs> Jenkins. <laughs> then you can't go in there and change You can't be. No, you do not go in there and talk to the Cut his mic off. As soon as they be like, you want a lap dance? You be like, yeah, come on. Baby, you know you ain't got to do this. No, nah, get like, the lap dance first. That's what I'm saying. They be yeah, on yeah, you. Yeah. and I'm It's only five dollars. Like, so it's only five dollars for a lap. Yeah, the lap throw them clothes cheap. away if you get a shot. <laughs> you don't want them clothes on. <laughs> that stuff ain't gonna never come off. Ew! What stuff is that? Ew! The stripper juice. <laughs> <laughs> they smell alike. They got one smell. I had a friend that went to a strip club. He's like, I was done. He was. I mean, he was on a run, going all the time. He's like, Yeah, the girl had a discharge. I ain't going back. Ah, I no. Like, oh. I don't eat in strip in strip club because I never see them clean the pole. I never see them though. say, We're gonna stop for twenty <laughs> minutes and clean these poles. I never see them clean the poles. So I know they don't wash the dishes. I don't know. They I'm not eating fried, that. But I mean, they man, the pink slip used to have the best fried chicken. And then the girls that was back there frying the chicken, you knew that chicken was fire. They was dancers. They was next. No, they was not dancers. They, was <laughs> they were not dancers. They had pool. They pole looked like crumbs. they come fried. They look like they fried that Popeye's chicken. They get on sandwich. the pole and got crumbs on the pole from the fried chicken. <laughs> the, the, all wow. the bread in the world on that fried chicken. <laughs> Ain't nothing fell off. It's just crunch. Y'all better come check some of this out this weekend, people. Helium yeah. Comedy Club. I'm ready. I'm fired up. Are you? I'm with my little king of the strip club. <laughs> you don't need to be doing this. <laughs> you don't need to be doing this. So you got two shows tonight, two shows tomorrow night, one show on Sunday. Yeah. You're here all weekend. 7.30, 10, 7.30. He's walking in the strip club with this guy. They go, hey, how you doing, fellas? He go, praise the Lord. <laughs> what? <laughs> you better not be going in there with Bible verses. No. Yeah, you I'm get not. kicked out. <laughs> but you do try to, you know, I do help. Try to, hey, you know, go with the first. What, what was your first option? Oh, what, God. What you do, do you try first? to sell everybody that or just the strippers you think <laughs> yeah. have potential to do? He's been heartbroken. Somebody, somebody, <laughs> somebody broke his heart. Somebody broke your heart. You ain't never. Somebody broke his heart. You ain't never tried to talk a stripper out of stripping. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Why not, Tony? You don't try to talk a tiger <laughs> not to kill another animal. You don't need to kill an antelope. You are better than that. Those stripes are blessings. Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah eat you and then eat, eat the antelope. Some people got, they do. Those stripes they, are Who going to do it if she don't do it? Who going to do it? The one. You going to do it? No, I'm not going to. No, you going to be Tawana Man? You going to put a wig on and say, give it up for you pepper would never spray? Do, you would never do a strip hey. show. Give you, it up for pepper spray. Hold on. Because you're, you're physically fit. You would have never done like a strip show for like a fundraiser or anything. I was a male dancer at the Western Union for two years. I'm, I'm serious. I'm to jail every week. <laughs> <laughs> now, I do a fundraiser. I do a little strip tease. Do you really? Yeah. I'm serious. What? How much money can I make, though? <laughs> Depends on how much money I make. It's I don't going, know. I'm going full Monty. No. You <laughs> <laughs> they call me the landlord. I'm coming for the is rent. That, is that? <laughs> do, That's going to be your stripper do, name, do, landlord. Do, do, you going to come in there with do, a tool do, belt do. on? And I'm going to have somebody grab my ankle. It's going to be him. <laughs> don't do it, Tony. <laughs> You're better than oh this. Oh my God, Tony Roberts, you making me. He gonna sweat. be in the club and bring my kids. <laughs> Say, we'll still do it for them. Man, get the hell out of here with my kids. They need help with their homework. <laughs> now, why are you on this? Why are you on this stage doing this gyrating right it's now? It's the evening. What are you doing, Mr. Evening? It's the evening. Oh, I thought you said Mr. Evening. No. That's, okay. that's the funniest thing I've heard all day you when you said, to... "I wanted to tell the girls, you don't need to be doing this." Do He's doing this. <laughs> he did it with a heart on. Come on, you don't need to be doing this. Well, you don't need to be. <laughs> this explain everything. What high school did you go to? You city. God damn it. No. Where's that at? Uh, <sighs> it's close. That's close to the comedy club. Uh, we talking about me, strip clubs. Let me tell you something. You're like my seventh U City guest, 
And it's known, I, I can't even talk about you because U City is known for like. What is U City about? It's a nice place. It, it's, it's okay. What it <laughs> Don't is, you is, talk to me. <laughs> what it is, is it's diverse. Oh, is it? it they're they're okay. known for their diversity and their melding of cultures. So you got Asians, well, not, blacks, whites, well, Indians, everything, school, Mexicans. Yeah. It, when you came, but years ago, when I was in high school, oh, okay. you're very young. Yeah. How old are you now? 23, 22. 22. Yeah. So you're younger than my daughter. He's That's 12 young. in the strip club. He's 12. <laughs> yes, he's 12. You Anybody know he's 12 year old. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know he's 12 whenever he's in there trying to talk people out of stripping. Get your ass out of here. <laughs> Here we go. I already knew it. Somebody, you time. Yeah. All in the comments. Go on somewhere. Child, you see the ass. In there with 100 singles and a sweater vest. <laughs> Trying to save somebody. I love this What guy. a Bible. What a Bible. I love them. All right. Y'all make sure y'all go check them out. They are at the Helium Comedy Club. <laughs> Helium Comedy you know the Club. one in, in the basement of the mall. No, nah, I know it's St. Louis. I've been coming for years. Right. From and, Detroit. This is I'm a from comedy Detroit. City. I'm Wouldn't born and raised in Detroit, so I've been coming out here for years. Yeah. I remember they had the club out here. I used to do the show for the, uh, the old school club. These Sanford's? Four... You been in comedy that long? Which one? It's a Sanford's. It wasn't even a comedy club. Yeah, it, was it was like, like a, a little hall. Was a, it little, it? a little bitty space. It might have been Sanford's separate club. And these old brothers used to have it. So I was just, what's the name of this spot? It the, had the, to be Sanford's. The, the Four Brothers or something? Got to be. It's a glass, big glass window. I don't know because it was before my Oh, time. man. I used to come down here, man. But I, look. Because I know Ricky Smiley used to do Sanford. was doing a comedy uh, it was, thing. Uh, it was different hosts. But I'm saying. Oh, okay. it, but it was, a, it was a brother down here. He was two other brothers with him. Two other guys. It was an old school. I can't think of the name, but the old school name it was. It wasn't Sanford, so. But Sanford's they took me to East St. Louis. Mm -hmm. Just to and the I, that's, when, that's the day I realized it wasn't even St. Louis. We were in, <laughs> it's we in went Illinois. Through, we went to a time warp <laughs> and end up yeah. in, <laughs> in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, I tell people. The all hills the time. have eyes. Yeah. <laughs> we went over there. So I went to the pink slip. Two brothers, they said. That was the name of it. Two it? brothers. Oh. It was called Two Brothers. Two brothers. I never went there. I had to there. do the comedy there. Wow. That thank, was you, my, that was my, thank you, Tanika Jones. Thank you, Tanika Jones. I love you. Come to the show. I got you. You got no. You don't need no tickets. I got you. Tanika. Tanika. Uh -huh. Tanika. 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 To which show you want to go to? I'm gonna make sure you get in. I got you four tickets. Let me write that down. Just it's T N I K A Jones. I'm giving out tickets T all the time. I'm here. I K K A K A. K -A Yep. Put four plus three. It was on Natural Bridge, she said. She that's don't what know all that. I don't know that street, but you're right. <laughs> but that was the bridge over to the other side. No, but that was East St. Louis. We still East St. Louis. Louis. So I went over there where Satan played basketball at. <laughs> 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 so I went to the pink slip. Yes. And I got into a fight with you a ain't stripper. No chicken. And she punched me in the chest. <gasps> you are like, lying. Right in my shoulder, chest area. She tried to, if she was closer, I didn't have to reach out. She would have punched my face. Why? Because we got into a fight. Cause Why? I, I asked for change. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. She had a big butt. She showed me a little coochie. I gave her 20 instead of the five. I said, I need $15 back. No, you didn't. Yeah. So I went and grabbed some of her money. She grabbed my arm. I snatched her down. She punched my chest. <laughs> Just when I'm about to give her the hook, because I know you do that, you're a man now. You punch me. <laughs> I'm about to give her the hook. Somebody pulled me back, and I missed the whole thing, and we got into it. She jumped Man. off stage, dove off stage, tried to get to me. No. And, yeah, and I was about to kick a stripper ass. <laughs> I kick stripper ass. No, you if would I have not. To. Oh, if, Tony. Okay, I wouldn't. If I would have grabbed her, choked her <laughs> out, there, I would have choked her out with my hand, one of my fingers in her. <laughs> <laughs> I would do some stupid. I'm a, you I ain't going to fight you. Don't feel nothing. <laughs> I got to get a little smooch. And then he would have testified against me. <laughs> you trying to save the bitch. So wait, 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 wait. Because you know the strippers, from what I understand, is that strippers at the pink slip, you could touch them. And that was like unheard of at every But you can't play club. with their money. No, yeah. hell no. I learned that. <laughs> and I learned East St. Louis, you age two years going over there and get that back coming back. It's like a time thing. Oh, is that what happened? Yeah. You go over there, no you space. feel two years older. It's, it's biologically. And then you get the age back, come back to St. Louis. <laughs> It's a thing over there. <laughs> they only have potholes. They got real graves. Well, I, th well, I think the pink slip is now closed. And now Onyx. Really? Onyx is the, the club. Listen to him. Because that, that was an slip. institution. Whoa. You see, you had a pink slip story. My pink slip story, the first time I went there, I was like just, you know, rocking back and forth. They was like, ah, stop all that. You can't do that. 
What do you mean you can't do that? You can't dance in your seat? I couldn't even dance. I could not. Like, I was standing up. They was like, you can't dance. And some dude was like, damn, you work here? And I was like, no. <laughs> you could have made so much money with those no. hips. You could have made. I, I remember I told too. my mom I was going to be a stripper. And shortly after that, she was like, you don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, you probably. No, I wasn't going to do that. I just, I was looking at you, my, you I was like, what? in my early 20s. You wouldn't have been like, a good stripper, stripper, though. You got too much pride. You have yeah, attitude. Yeah, no, uh-uh. I couldn't have done it. Get, get your damn hands off me. Don't touch my feet. Don't ever touch my damn feet. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What's a lap dance? Don't touch me. me. I, don't, I ain't going to touch you. You can lap. I don't get, uh, you couldn't be a, you couldn't have been a good stripper. No, I couldn't have been a, I would have been a terrible stripper. I would have been so drunk and high on, on something. To even get through the night, so and my mother, mother, I don't love, know. I'm telling you, I, love. So, I got souped up. Some Something dude that I was talking up. to was like, "You man, you got a better body than all them strippers at the slip." And I was like, "I do." Wait and a minute, then, no, her name was Give It Up. For, <laughs> you got me fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that would have been the best stripper name ever. See, it came out to like I the music they got now. Yeah. The river. You know what I'm saying? That's what he even came out to. <laughs> That's what he was. Oh my god. Oh, you know what? Please don't do him. I you trying him. to save strippers? You do look kind of saved. Are you saved? No, I don't even go to church. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I would not go to church. I talked to God uh, not in the house of the Lord. I got a situation. I don't need y'all to decide what would you do. I talk, no, you okay. I'm listening, right. Tony. I got a friend. This happened years ago. Mm-hmm. I got a friend, comedian, real good friend of mine. You're not going to name names? No. So That's no fun. Okay. Cause, cause women love to gossip. Women got to have the details so they can. Yeah, I want to know everything. Cause I want to. Yeah, I want to see the. Person. I ain't giving it to you. Oh well, shit. <laughs> I tried. All right. And what's your producer name? Edward. Edward. Check this out. He was dating this girl, right? She had a little money. Cause he was a struggling comic. You know, you're a comic now, struggling. You got a girl with some money. If you was dating Stacy right now. She had to pretty much foot the bill. You know, to you getting your feet. Yeah. So she was doing that for him, but she was nice, right? Beautiful. He lived in L.A. She lived in Seattle. Mm. She's come down, then she fly him up. She stay wow. in her house, let her ride one of her cars. She had a couple of cars. Now she was paid oh, back. She, she was doing it. So they got into it for like six, seven months. Mm-hmm. You know? And he was hurting. And he was loved. He loved her. She loved him. So mm. she loved him to the point she told him. So I got, you know, she never, he never told her what she did. She never told him what she did. She's a call girl, but not oh. no hooker. No, hooker it's high hooker. price. Okay, high price. She had. Yeah, she was beautiful as a car girl, but she loved him. So she told him, that's what I do. Blah, blah, blah. He said, damn. You know, well, it hit him like a ton of bricks, oh, dude. Oh, I know that. Hurt. But it was like, damn, well, let's talk about it this weekend since you're down here. She said, okay, but that's the point. I can't stay. I got to go. I got to see you Monday. I got to stay with this rich dude for the weekend and uh, do what he want me to do, and then I'll be back. Ooh. Blah, blah, blah. So now, what, what do you do? Ooh. Do you stay with her? Do you stay at her house and y'all y'all house? Do you live the life now? Y'all, her money is your money, or or do you? I'll burn that motherfucker down. I would. I would. I would, <laughs> would you? Would you break up with her? Yeah, I'll I'll burn that break up. I, 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 I gotta break up. I, said, I told. I was two short. Ha- okay, this is my question. Do you? Because she has sex nobody, for a living. Nobody. For, for a living. Like, that's how you make your money. She got sex for a living. Or do dirty deeds or with girls and guys and, and strangers and whatever. But that's she made good money doing so what, it. Okay, so what if she had never told him and then she had just retired? But then. What, it would have been deceitful. Okay. I mean, if she had to retire, I would have. Then how's she going to make the money? Then he go, he now, go, now he on. He go we chick we doing a, this. We doing this to get you on. Well, you can't have a chick with Is a he, loose vagina in Burger King. It, just it, apparently out. it wasn't loose. <laughs> now she got a Burger King, a manager. <laughs> no, but yeah, but but she told Come him. Come on now. She told she him. trying to quit. Somebody going to like so her. So where is he now? Like, is he a successful comic? Well, yeah, we're doing all right. You know. But he wasn't. He, he ain't. done been in nothing like that. No TV shows. Like, uh, he was on Wild and Out. <laughs> He did a little bit of that, but that was it. <laughs> <laughs> grand opening, grand closing. So, and so it sounds like he should have stayed with her. Is she still? Uh, yeah, but you can't. You you love her, and then <clears throat> okay. Picture this scenario. This your girl, right? Yeah. Camera. She come home. I'm her. Hey, honey. Ask me how's my day. How's your day? Ah, oh, so much cock. So much cock. <laughs> One guy almost ripped my jaw apart, <laughs> and my ass. Well, is so she's sore. not gonna say that. What's, and apparently, what's she for was dinner, well honey? <laughs> I think that we as women <laughs> accept y'all hoeing a whole lot more than y'all accept ours. 
Wait, say that again one more time. <laughs> say it again. Yeah, we we accept y'all hoeing mm-hmm. a whole lot more than y'all accept ours. This is why. Yeah. This is why. Men won't watch the, the show Insecure because they just like, nah, she cheated. She did cheat. Okay, this is why. She did cheat. <laughs> <laughs> y'all I've cheat all the time. Okay. Black men don't cheat. We Black cheat on our taxes. <laughs> Go with that shit. We cheat on our taxes. And sometimes I get in the 10 items or less line with 15 items. So what? That's cheating. Tell but me. this is why. All our life, Tony. men has been receivers, not the givers. We've been receivers. We always had to have a sense of humor, money, uh, looks, something about talent, something about it to drive you to us, to bring you us to us. Women always been the givers, the givers, the choosers, the, the acceptors. The, you, it's always in your, the ball in your hand, always. Now, now, hmm. with men, it's just like men, uh, a penis is just like an arm. It's nothing. Men, hmm? I've heard somebody say this before. <laughs> <laughs> I heard somebody say this before. What now? A man will fake a relationship for an orgasm. A woman will fake an orgasm for a relationship. Because a man oh, yeah. doesn't care. He's not thinking. He don't even have to like a girl. For a woman, that's internal. You let somebody in you, you feeling them. You feeling them with your heart. Something about them, you thirst or hunger for them, for them to go in you. It's more personal for a woman to accept a man in them than for a man to lay on some chick. He don't even know her name. He don't give a damn. No. To a man, it's let's go. They don't need to know why or when. Women want to know why. Yeah. We don't want to know where. I will tell you and this. And that's why it's so different. I will, I will tell you this, that things have changed. Okay. There's more hoes out there now. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> We're we being outnumbered now. And there's more, there's more guys who care. Camera, can you want to take it from here? <laughs> it's more... <laughs> <laughs> Say, but he likes strippers. He don't want no regular woman. He want adventure. He trying to take a stripper, turn it to a woman, a you regular want an woman. Amber Rose. No, no. That's what that's what Kanye plucked her out of the yeah. strip club. Yeah, and I just, made I just her. Feel like they have. She got famous because of that. Yeah, she did. Yeah. And now yeah. she's pregnant again. Dang. About twenty two Savage. <laughs> no, she no, they just... broke up. They been broke up. <laughs> yeah, she was a that was her nephew. She like a nephew. She like an auntie next to him. You see them together? I that did. That was a bad match. Yeah, that was a bad. I didn't understand. I was like, "What?" I mean, but he but her, you though. know what? That's like Cameron dating Res- Presfusius. What's the name from um, Resfusius? Norbert- Nef- I thought that was awesome when he did that. He had the the he had that woman like that that person down. Ain't I fine? I thought I was like, whoever he based that off of, I know that woman. I have worked so with her weird. at the Housing Authority. I so know weird. her. The baddest comic of our time to me. Do you think he should come back to comedy? No. He's coming out with that new special. I think I, I'm, I'm I think he's eager to see it. If he do, it should be in an acoustic setting room around some people, maybe 90 people, and just talk and kick him. But not him. like a raw, not a, concert, not a big no. com- comedy concert. Not a theater. I don't think he. I don't think is he, can... he out trying out Joe so? Like, is Eddie Murphy doing yeah. like Yeah, he is? at the comedy store. Um, I've seen a couple of times there. He just was goofing off. Trying to get the nerve back. Right, right, because I'm sure that's... Because one thing about comedians, you be a comedian, you can have 19 funny movies, blockbuster hits. Right, right, right. But once you get back on stage and it's you and the mic and the people, and you're not funny, then they're going to leave and say, he ain't even funny. You know, they don't remember none of the movies. You're not funny. Wow. That's what scared uh, actors, comic turn big, mm-hmm. and won't, they don't want to go back. What about Martin Lawrence? Because I've seen him a couple he of times. He tried to go back and it was it flopped. You, you know what it is? He he I realized because when I saw him, I was a big fan. And cause he was the first comic I ever saw do stand up. Like, right. Wow. And he just I realized then how much of a physical comedian he is. Right. That's why I told you, like I could see yeah. you being he's not physical anymore. No. He's yeah. not even trying to. It's the medication. To oh. I think it's the medication. It must be. Like he's he does seem dimmed. It's like his light yeah. is dimmed. It's just interesting. Yeah, I was I was a big fan of his. Did the bad boy thing come out? Not no, yet. I don't think so. They filmed it. They filmed, filmed, they filmed, they filmed, they filmed it. They're done. They already done. Yeah, they it might it, it might come out Christmas or something. Yeah, but the guy that makes those movies, he's so good, he could just make it around. Yeah, whoever. He just need the name and the face. He can make you famous. He can make you look dope. So, but I don't. That's what it is. Who's the guy that does those movies? Uh, Michael Bay. Michael Bay. He's the movie guy. He's the, yeah. that's me, dude. Yeah. Because <laughs> I direct. I'm, I write and direct. And I, I you want to put me in a movie since I'm your kind of pretty? I wrote a movie. 
I wrote and directed That's it. not what I asked you. I, no, I put you in the movie. <laughs> I, I put you in the movie. Okay. I can see you in Insecure. You know, yeah. No, closed mouth don't get fed. You go. I can see that. you in Insecure. Mm-hmm. I can see you as an actor. Because okay. you, you look like you've got the, the knack and the look. I'll take that. Some women being radio should be in radio. <laughs> Girl, you got the facial radio. radio. In the bushes. <laughs> With some in bushes the around. bushes, the radio. No, I've seen them. For real. <laughs> they don't so take mean. care of themselves at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you so mean. I know. Well, that's why I don't I'm do radio you. on the mom on video every day. Video. Stacy Static. This is dope. You like this? So, yeah, every, uh, not every, this weekend, these two guys, you got yeah. fans out here, Cameron. People like you. Yeah, Somebody say Cameron Keys is here. Trying to, trying to do That's dope, though. You got a good, fi- you come back home, too? Yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah so uh, they are at the Helium Comedy Club. You check out Tony Roberts, do his thing. Tonight, tomorrow night, two shows, show on Sunday. I'll probably be at the Sunday show. You going to be at yeah. the Sunday show? Yeah, I'm a Sunday yes. show person. Hit me up, at Tony T. Roberts. DM me. Let me know how many tickets you need. I'm giving out tickets. You're giving out tickets? I'm giving out tickets. To I every need, show? Yeah. Well, we she got, got a full ready. house, but I need it, I need it packed. packed. Making sure. Standing room. She only got, she got four. I got, yeah, she got four. You got she a name? Me, that wasn't the real. Yeah, I got, yeah. I, that you wasn't the real. We're going to put it, give it to my man. That's, okay. That's that wasn't the real spelling of her name, apparently. That was her Facebook name. So I'll oh, give you, well, come on, I'll give it to you. <laughs> That's her alias? That's yes. some catfish. Well, you know, I'm Stacy Static. That ain't my name. I told y'all my name. Your name, name Belinda. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> Gloria. I actually did. I revealed You got my, an old name. Ernestine. Your name. I know. I, I revealed Ernestine my, Static. my real name when I left radio. Oh, really? Yeah. Just just my first name. Oh, okay. Kim. So I, I revealed that. So some people know that. A lot of people do, actually. So I mean, so I'm from here. T I N I. You Man, she gonna come and go. Where am I taking? Who am I that damn? How often do you get back to Detroit before we go? Twice a year. Oh, okay. I'm going back this September. Actually, I'm headlining the Fox Theater downtown. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, it's me, oh, it's du- Duval, Michael Blackson, Ricky Smiley, um, a couple other cats. I, I did. A, I did. I was. I was voice tracking there for a while. Really? Mm-hmm. I love this. And I, I love some, going home. And man. I have some family up there too. My family, my kids, they never been in the winter. A good winter, because you know. Yeah. They grew up in L.A. I mean, in, uh, no, in California. Need, yeah, you need to take them out there when it's no, snowing. No, I took them. Oh, I took did? them one winter, and they never been back. They didn't like it. They, I mean, got there. They don't know what really. They ain't seen real snow. Right. We got. We go in the mountains and snowboard in yeah. the air, but they got wow. this. Sometimes they make the snow, and uh, they got there. We got Detroit. We got the rental car going to my mom's house. It was snowing real big and everything. It was about seven, eight inches. They ain't oh, never yeah. seen it. Wow. It was full. It was kept snowing. They said we want to go outside, and it was like four degrees. Yeah, so much fun. And then to they was the like, snow. they didn't give a damn. You know, they were like, we want to go outside. And my mom, I told them, no, you don't want. This ain't the made up snow. This the real oh, deal. Oh, you gotta let them go out there. I man. know. I was it's trying to just. Snow. I, I know what they're headed for, but my mama said, my mother raw. I give it. Get they dumb ass out there. <laughs> God, out there. Open the door, let them out. My daughter said, I can't make no snowman with these gloves on. Right. 20 minutes later, they was knocking on the window with their wrists. Right. <laughs> with their hands balled up with the back of their wrists, banging on the window. And then we had to put them downstairs. They ain't never seen a basement. Right, right. No basements right, in, no basement in LA. Wow. And they went downstairs and she laid them next to the furnace and thawed out on the floor. They laid there crying. Oh. And they don't never want to go back. That, really? I told them you can go back, but you just can't go outside when it's real cold, like super cold. Sometimes it's only 25, 30 degrees. Snow, beautiful sun, do that's that. That's that dry snow too. If it's that cold, you're not making I don't like really. That. You, you ain't, ain't doing making that. really. Y'all like a little. It's no. gotta be a little wet to make the good snowball. Y'all know what real yeah. winter is. Yeah, that's dope that's though. Why I like being in the Midwest. I love coming home. I'm telling you, I go, I go to a lot of East Coast, a lot of up in Boston, a lot of down south, a lot of West Coast. But it's nothing like being right in the Midwest because the people here are so down to earth and they just like playing comedy. Yeah, we do. A lot of people in different regions, they got their knack that they like certain ways. We are simple. We hmm. love it wrong. Just, just be funny. Yeah. Just That's be, it. Because be all of us think we're funny too. That's the thing. Like right. everybody in the Midwest swear they funny. There's so <laughs> yeah. many comedians man. What everywhere we we like. He ain't funny. He ain't make me laugh. He ain't funny than my boy. Just because your boy smoke crack, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that nigga's gonna be funny. And he gonna be Stop funny for a dollar. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I was coming up like you, man. My aunt used to. <laughs> My aunt keeps getting my nerve. My aunt used to come to me, baby. When you gonna get your TV show? When is when is your turn? Oh. I say I'm on the list. I'm on the list. They <laughs> <laughs> got a list in Hollywood, but it's a long list. <laughs> but, but yeah, but you need to be cut your call that boy. That's your friend. Of, you don't know that Bill Cosby guy. That he can. He should say that to me. Who? Bill Cosby. <laughs> Bill Cosby guy. You don't know him. Go tell him. Go call him. Somebody get his number. Tell him to get you on the. I say okay, auntie. Just uh, go on. And then my uncle was like. I got a friend. He got his phone. 
<laughs> they used to go out on tour with Bobby Blue Bland. <laughs> he got connections. Man, my, man, every time I work with a headline, my mama like, you know what, you should call, you know Rodney Perry, call Rodney Perry, see if you can go to California with him this weekend. <laughs> yeah, like, she, she trying I'm to make like, it happen. Trying to make it happen. I'm like, mom, I can't just go with him. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got to. Do my own thing. But a lot of that. comics, a lot of headliners you see now, they got like, they got, like, JJ got you with them. I yeah. got Lance Woods a lot of times with me, sometimes not. Um, because people know that that's the, that's the person with them because every week, months, like a month or two before I can get to the city, I got comics calling me. They know where I'm going to be at. Can I open? Can I open? It's constantly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So my wife's my role manager. She oh, does nice. everything for me. So she usually gets the call. And she said, well, the cl- it's up to the club. Go call them. Yeah, you can do it if they say you can do it. Sometimes mm-hmm. it happens. Sometimes everybody got a book. But that's why they do that, because they don't get the call. Because comments a call all the time. I get like 10 or 12 calls a week that I'm going to be there next month. And they wanna, <laughs> yeah. And I go, well, man, uh, my wife don't like nobody. She, like she, a don't? Few, she don't like a lot of people. A lot of comments are full of crap. And it's, it's, a, a, it's a stiff competition. Is yeah, it, it is. It is. How many years? It's real. Yeah. What about women? I don't see. Is I don't see enough women. No, but that's what that's what Tiffany Haddish did. It, Tiffany Haddish did the thing on um the special the Netflix uh, because he wanted to get more and, women out there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I think that's a cool dude. Yeah. That's a cool deal to do. Yeah. You know? I don't think she's very good for stand up though. But no, she's she's horrible at stand up. <laughs> she's not. But she has that that thing <laughs> what you need it, in the movie. You need to do it. I've known her from the beginning, dude. I've seen like it. a couple of times where she, I never saw her live. I heard when she came here, it was ter- like terrible. But that's what she need to do. Somebody on her level, she need to go out there and prove that she's funny, but she need to get writers. She need to hire four or five writers to get in the room and she need to go in these little clubs and test stuff out and keep working with them. And then about the five, six, seven months later, she need to go to a theater and do an hour and let them know I am funny. Right. Yeah. But I just don't know the when you're funny, it'll come to you. If you if you ain't got it by now, if you're not funny, you're not funny in stand up. But she caught that break in the movie, and she's she gone now. She's what that she, character. Wasn't she doing stand up like ten years before then though? 15, 20, oh. almost twenty. And that's what I'm saying. She wasn't yeah. cold at stand up before. Yeah, she was okay, but she was always the the, the sex. Oh, okay. uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That person yeah, she yeah, is yeah, on yeah. now, she was like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, who she do you did, like female wise? I like Leslie Jones. Me and her, got, me and her yeah. got stories, dude. We got kicked off the Greyhound bus one time in the middle of the night. <laughs> no, y'all didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, acting a fool. <laughs> we used to travel together all the time. You That's know what? I do girl. like Leslie. Yeah, I like she, Leslie. She's good. She came and she went to... Uh, Leslie's stupid, dude. Did it. We yes. go back when we were young. <laughs> <laughs> you said we got kicked off we got the kicked Greyhound bus. <laughs> and then hey, like a movie, like a cartoon, because he kicked us off. <laughs> then you see our bags coming off. <laughs> and then that one shoe of her shoe. <laughs> And you know, she got a big too. She probably cussed out everybody on her way yeah. off that boat. We That's were drunk. hilarious. We were drunk. <laughs> on the Greyhound? He said, y'all hey, y'all want my, we was leaving Columbus, Ohio, catching the bus back to New York. <laughs> and the bus driver gave us warnings. People were trying to sleep. <laughs> we was loud. And he was like, oh, grumpy. Fuck up. <laughs> so he right in front of us. We was right behind him. He just pulled over. I thought he had the bathroom. <laughs> uh-uh. Get your ass out. Get your shit. Let's go. <laughs> So we had called a friend of mine and had to come like an hour up the road to get us. Oh, my and God. Put us back on another Greyhound bus. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all weren't banned. You just had to, yeah. did y'all finally fall asleep on the next bus? Next, yeah, we, we yeah. just shut up. <laughs> we, we didn't know it was that serious. Uh, Female-wise, there's a couple of locals I like that, that, that nobody know yet. Mm. And uh, they make me laugh. Okay. I don't know. Dang. Depends. It's some, it's some funny women out there. See, y'all don't be thinking about us. That's all I want. I, yeah. want, I want y'all to walk away from this conversation. I won't sleep with a comic. And th- a female comic. What, well, I would hope you wouldn't because no, you're No, comics do, though. I would. <laughs> oh, no, no, a female no. comic. I wouldn't sleep with one. Why? It just not. It just don't seem right. I don't know. Yeah, it'll be it'll be bad for us. I it, saw Vanessa Fraction is getting married. That's how that is. Yeah, he's not is. a comic, though. I've seen her. She was funny. No, no. She, I know her when she first started from Vanessa. Chicago. I know yeah. her from Female the beginning. Yeah, yeah no, I liked her. Her, when I her fiance not a comic. Oh right, he's not a comic. Yeah, no. comics have dated comics and it went sour. It oh, never, I'm sure. Never came That's... through. Yeah. Never. Is Shima Franklin funny, out of Atlanta. Oh, yeah. I like her. Yeah, Shima Franklin. She cool. Okay. I got a couple of girls out of. Uh, and that's Indy what I'm Mom. thinking of, like up and comers, not like some more. No, people yeah, like that. no, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> it's some com- It's a couple of uh, lesbian comics that opened for me in um, 
Baltimore. They came down from New York, but they're from D.C. Mm -hmm. She was funny. She, I gave her a, a bunch of punchlines to her add-ons because mm -hmm. some some young comics got the joke. It's going, and you like it's, all he needed to do is that, and he do it right next to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I, I go, soon he get off stage, hey, that do that. Yeah. Try that next show because that's you missing out. That is a dope. I might see you do something. Yeah. And I go, Probably. dude. Say this. Don't get. Probably. Go for it. Well, I'm yeah. glad that you're sharing your knowledge and you're not like. Oh no, yeah. yeah. Like the young comic that's gonna open up. Yeah, I mean, he's gonna do five minutes. Yeah. I'm just looking. I say you're doing five minutes tonight. Two shows. He just stared at me. I say, yeah. Just get, it's real. Just right. get your ass there early. Like, I know you look like a civil rights leader or something, but it's okay. Oh, he's, he's, a, <laughs> he's like he's somehow his granddad made the pencil or something. He's like <laughs> a total nerd. And I like his look. He's one of them guys. That the look is hilarious. He got them intelligent jokes, though. Yeah. The white people love. Yeah. Some people got those. You know, I did, um, I've been getting called for a lot of gospel shows lately because I've been in the mega fest for two years in a row. Do you Stand like ovation. Wow. And T.D. Jakes told his people to fly me in to go to his church. And I was never available. I'm going to meet him, too. I never met him. Did this mega fest twice. Never met him. 6,000 Prosperity pe preacher. Yeah. He is a prosperity preacher. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about prosperity. <laughs> you yeah. align yourself with him. Your, yeah, your, your yeah. Will grow. He can get a strip club. People let it happen. If he had a strip club, people come out. People I'm telling you, T.D. Jakes had a strip club. <laughs> I'm yeah. letting you go now. People will come out. I'm not dealing with Just you. to see how it is. <laughs> if, he, if he hosted like a night or just had it. He ain't got to be in it. He no. won't get near it. Now, then his daughter going to come and be like, <laughs> she going to give her shit. Have you ever seen Sarah Jakes Robin? Oh, yeah. 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 She be clean, boy. Yeah. Never seen she that. dressed like Mary Mary. <laughs> Let me tell she you. She clean. I went to the, what's that award show? It happens in January. Um, Kentucky. In Kentucky? It's a big. The award show? It's a big gospel awards. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know about them gospel Trumpet? Awards. Not the trumpet. Come Damn. on, y'all, help us out because I don't know. It's a big award. It's a That's big show. That's when I gotta show. ask Facebook. What, what? It's a big award show. It's a gospel in Kentucky. In Kentucky, right? That's why I was like, <laughs> no, Whoa, it what? happened in Kentucky the, the year I went. I thought it was Kentucky every year. I no. think it's the make not the make fest. Not the, the only thing I know is the trumpet award. The trumpet award. No, the um, it gonna come to me anyway. I went to the award show. When I tell you, man, God is third when hmm? they come there. God is third. <laughs> Who's the first? money is first. Oh, okay. The Press jury and the furs is second. Oh, yeah. The outfits, <laughs> that's second. And then God is right close third. That's when right our there. Nigerian side comes out. Because they, they extra. We extra. Oh, we, yeah. We, we, we African when we You're dress. Nigerian? No. <laughs> oh, I'm going to say. <laughs> no, my, when I did my father's DNA, um, he was uh, mainly from Ghana. His okay. The yeah. Nigerians love jury. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's when our 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 West that's black African and yellow. Side that is, comes out. The jury yellow and they black, black and yellow. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they go together. <laughs> like right, they dress them like pharaohs, just gold everywhere. It's they go, they go for it, man. <laughs> you right though, they do. Wow. They do. And that's uh, that's when we come because black folks love to dress. We love yeah. to be yeah over the top. We fashionable. Yeah, we are. And I mean, and it's birth. funny you see like a concert. You see guys with the with the chokers, the big diamonds, and all that. And the and now they the rappers are more lax with the outfits, but the jury is banging. Always. Yeah. And then when you go to award show, the black people really get they think. White people be in concerts <laughs> with a t shirt from Old Navy, <laughs> some blue jeans, and a two or three big trailers of tour bus equipment, and they be up there like. It's they don't been, care. What? They do not care. And even the kind, like the first time I went to a concert in New York, I was like, ain't nobody dressed up. No. You know, in St. Louis, like yeah. everybody be gussied up. Because yeah. no. I'm a classic rock dude. I've been watching, I've been collecting classic rock for 20 years. That's all I listen to. So I went to see the Eagles in Journey. Oh, that's nice. I wore a hoodie. I was overdressed. <laughs> <laughs> dude, it was bananas. These white people don't care, but they into property. They ain't too fast. Yeah, they don't care nothing about They tennis shoes, them new balance. You supposed to wear them, old, a shirt from Old Navy with Old Navy on it. Or a gap. <laughs> Nobody never do that. <laughs> I ain't never doing it. <laughs> it's awesome. I ain't never doing it. I ain't gonna never I'm do not repping Old Navy like this today. No. This is going to be a t-shirt. There ain't going to be nothing on it to say it's... No. I go oh. to Armani Exchange sometimes. I go in there and get some... We don't have one of those. Dude. But oh, they got man. they got some dope outfits, but with the Armani Exchange on the side. Right, uh-uh, we don't want oh, that. No, I ain't no, wearing it because uh -uh. you got that on there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got no, your name on it. Somebody said wearing gold gives you energy. Gold is a conductor of the sun. 
like the Infinity Stone thingy. I thought you would. You, oh, you said thingy. That person sitting on the pillow <laughs> right now with incense <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Their name is Jesus Menezes. Thank you, Jesus Menezes. Menezes. You making that up? No, I'm serious. Jesus Menezes. That's their They're name like, on Facebook. They made that up. I for Rizzo, my up. nizzle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for Rizzo, my nizzle. Yeah. Jesus Menezes. <laughs> Jesus Menezes. <laughs> Jesus Menezes. That's I'll probably funny. say. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, tonight, tomorrow night, two shows, seven thirty and ten. Yes. Seven thirty right. and ten o'clock, both nights. Seven o'clock and and. Uh, on Sunday. Seven o'clock and nine thirty, I think. You got two on shows Sunday. on Sunday? No, it's seven o'clock on Sunday. One show Sunday. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was gonna yeah. say, yeah, doing it, yeah. doing it, doing it. Okay. It might extend it. You never know. Right. Tony and Cameron together. What? Cameron Keys, Tony Roberts. Handsome I talked to girls in the strip, and he get them out of there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the revolving door. We gotta do this. We working as a tag team in it. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out you. on my podcast, thank my little you. podcast. Stay, stay static. Yay. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you go and see these funny gentlemen. He said DM him for some tickets. You are Jesus' niece, pretty. You can be Jesus' niece. Mm, I like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and where can they find y'all on social media? At Tony <laughs> T. Roberts. Put the T in the middle or you're going to get an old white dude. <laughs> At Tony T. You know what? Do Tony Robbins and see. And then go back and see. <laughs> at Tony T. Robbins. Don't follow the other dude. Don't do that. Tony T. Robbins. You make sure you go check him out. And at underscore Cameron Keys. Cameron with a C. Uh, Keys. 